Hey guys, it's Mike from Pinpoint Podiatry. Now it's been a while since I've done a video, but with uni commitments, it's been a little bit hard to get a video done. And I really wanted to put in the hours into this shoe so I could give you the best review I possibly could. Firstly, I'd like to thank At The Highest Lights for making the thumbnail for this video. So if you guys could, go check out his Instagram and follow him. So without further ado, let's get on with the review. The PG1 is a budget basketball shoe, and in Australia will cost you $160, or about 110 in the US. Now with the price point being a little bit lower, I wasn't too sure what to expect from this shoe, but what I can tell you is that I was thoroughly impressed. Now let's talk about the traction. The traction is made up of a firm rubber compound in a diamond traction pattern with streaks running horizontally and vertically to make up that diamond. Likewise, we have the vertical streaks of the rubber compound running up through the mid portion of the shoe to help with slippage as you're trying to stop on a dime on the court. Now in terms of performance, I generally play on clean indoor courts and I found that I didn't really have to wipe the bottom of the PG1s in order to get better traction after a while. In terms of outdoor play, the traction is very durable and is one of the strongest points of this shoe. With the PG1, I've always felt secure on the court and haven't had to think about making cuts or stopping on a dime while playing. Moving on to the materials, we have a one-piece booty upper made up of mesh and suede. Being a budget option, you don't get the premium knitted option that you might find with other shoes. However, mesh is always a solid option. It's nice and breathable, light, and just as durable, if not more durable, than what you'll find in a knitted upper such as prime knit or fly knit. The downside of the mesh is that it may not conform to your foot quite as well as the fly knit or prime knit. However, for myself, I never found that to be a disadvantage. But for some of you guys, it may be something that you need to keep in mind when looking at the PG1. The mesh runs into the suede, which provides a nice lockdown. And I think what you'll find is that the suede does conform to your foot quite nicely. The mesh runs into the suede, providing more lockdown in the rear foot, and I think you'll find that the suede does conform to the back of your foot quite nicely. One thing to be mindful of with the suede is that when suede gets wet, it does get ruined quite quickly. So for all you outdoor hoopers, if it is a little bit wet, maybe steer away from the PG1. However, I feel this setup does provide for a little bit more stability in terms of injury prevention. Taking a look at the cushion, the PG1 is made up of a Phylon midsole, which gets the job done. When first stepping into this shoe, you will notice that there's a little bit more material underneath your foot than perhaps some other shoes in the Nike line or even the Adidas line. So the court feel in this shoe isn't great, but the impact protection is awesome for those of you guys who are quite heavy on their feet and are looking for a little bit of extra cushion to absorb some force in those joints. For a budget shoe, the PG1 includes four foot loaded zoom, which is an absolutely awesome addition to this shoe, which is another amazing part about this shoe because the zoom allows you to get a responsive feel while also having that impact protection underneath your foot. So while the court feel isn't the best, you'll still be feeling that responsiveness while making cuts and stopping on a dime on the court. Now let's talk about the fit of the shoe. Now guys, something that I really wanna harp across in my shoe reviews is that you can order these shoes online. However, depending on the shape of your foot, that may affect how the shoe is actually gonna fit. In the PG1 case, it does run true to size. I have heard other people saying that it felt a little bit tight, but for myself, definitely ran true to size. However, at times I found when I was making cuts or stopping on a dime that my big toe would get jammed up into the front of this shoe. So that is something to keep in mind when looking at the PG1. Also, this is my first one piece booty shoe. And what I can say is that I actually love the experience I had in the PG1. At first, it can be quite hard to get the shoe on. However, after a few wears, it does break in and you won't have any trouble putting it on after a while. I also felt in terms of the fit around the ankle that I was locked in nice and secure, whereas I tried a KD-10 on, I was sliding around at the front of my ankle and at the back of my Achilles. So I feel for myself personally, and for maybe you guys who have skinnier ankles, that the PG1 fits quite nicely around the ankle. Moving on to the most important aspect in my mind is the support of the shoe. As I mentioned, in terms of ankle stability, I felt very locked in in this shoe, even more so than the Jordan 31s, which I have done a review on, so go check that out. The shoe has a lateral outrigger for cuts and preventions of ankle sprains, and when talking about the PG1, something that you cannot fail to mention 
is the strap on the forefoot just here. The strap definitely provides a little bit of extra lockdown for those of you guys who feel like that you slide around in the front of your shoe. The addition of the strap is definitely awesome. Finally, taking a look at the midsole, depending on who you are, this may be a pro or con, the midsole is quite firm and quite stiff. This is particularly apparent up in the forefoot just here. Now, for those of you guys who like to have a little bit more flexibility in your shoe and feel the transition of you moving up onto your toes, this shoe may not be the one for you. The PG1, unlike some other shoes out there, does not have any decoupling up at the forefoot, which basically means that you're not gonna have as much flexibility up here at the shoe. However, if any of you guys have any forefoot problems, injuries, this shoe is going to be absolutely great for you. A forefoot Zoom airbag along with this stiffer forefoot is going to allow those joints to have a little bit of a break while you're on the court. And personally, at first, it did feel a little bit weird, but I found myself falling in love with the feel of this shoe. So overall, the PG1 is a very strong performer, particularly for the price that you're going to be paying for it. However, the shoe does have its pros and cons depending on you, the individual. With it perhaps being a little bit bottom heavy, and not as comfortable in terms of the upper. But if you ask me, I would say that the pros far outweigh the cons in this shoe. If you're looking for a cheaper shoe or an entry level price shoe, you cannot look past the PG1. I think that what you get for what you're paying is possibly one of the best shoes out there. So thanks for watching the video guys. If you have any questions, feel free to comment down below. Don't forget to follow me on social media and I'll see you guys in that next video.